Okay, this is a video for reference. Um, because even though it's a schema, sometimes you know, others are better uh, are visual more than others. So this is the remote. Firstly, the the XBs are series one, both of them. And what I did is I've reset them uh, both to their factory uh, default setting. So I used uh, putty uh, to do that with AT commands, and that's it. And I didn't do anything else. That I didn't touch any settings, anything. So that's just to prove how easy it is. Um, so how it works. So I got an Arduino Uno here. It's plugged to a 9 volt battery. And I'm using the 5 volt pin out to this railing here. And that gives 5 volt to the joystick. Here I have a SparkFun uh, USB Explorer. Uh, it has a 5 volt regulator. So I have the 5 volt going here. I got the uh, pin in and out going to RX MTX. Make sure you got them right. So in to out and out to in. Uh, and all negative going to the same place to close the circuit. Um, right here I have analog 0 and 1. And that's for a joystick uh, Y and X. And that's it. Here I have the two motors. And now we have the other Arduino. <clears throat> so basically the way they communicate is I'm using the easy transfer library. It's uh, easier than I thought actually. And uh, I have the source code that I'll share with you guys afterwards. Uh, so let's talk about how this one is set up. Oh, right here, I, I, I forgot to mention that I have the uh, reference uh, uh, pin voltage also in the plus uh, railing, which is important. So for this Arduino, so it has a different sketch. Both have two different sketch, obviously. And uh, this XB Series 1, the receiver, is uh, it's connected the same way as the other one. So I'm using the 5 volt regulated to give 3.3. Uh, VREF connected, TX and RX connected. Uh, right here I'm using the 5 volt. And here is the output uh, going to the motor. Uh, here it's going to a driver motor, but you see it's going to the, these motor. So in there you got a, a Sabre 2 driver board, and that's S1 and S2. Here I don't have any battery. The way I, uh, I get the uh, power from is the, the driver, the Sabre 2 driver board. It has a 5 volt output. So I'm taking it and I'm bringing it to the VIN in the Arduino. I got the negative also to close the circuit. So that's pretty much basic. There's nothing to it. Um, if you look at the code, uh, you'll see that you have one for the pot and one for the servo. And there's nothing connected. So just to test it out, power on the remote always first. Power on the remote, the, the, the brain. <clears throat> I don't know, you see there's a green light here. There's none there. My first thought was that it would both be green, but it's not. So here it is. So let's say you're going forward. See the both motors are going the same direction and I can't control the speed. So backward, down. will go in the same direction. Now what's cool about this is if I want to go left, one motor should go one direction, the other motor should go the other direction. Like this. So that I can turn the 360 angle. The other way. So there you go. The easy transfer library, it's quite easy to use. Um, again, I'll share the code and you can apply that, actually that sketch to almost anything because everything outputs to uh, 
uh, pulse width modulation uh, pins and uh, you'll see that uh, there's like a few lines of code in there so there you go if you have any questions ask and uh, enjoy that sketch